I'm sure you already know this by now, but when mixing body filler, you're gonna usually put about eight to 10 drops of hardener for every golf ball size of body filler, okay? You know, when sanding like this, leave good enough alone. So what I like to do is usually tackle the edges and then use the DA, uh, let the machine do the work, go flat, hold it flat. And then once it gets to a certain point, like back off and then feel it with your hand. Uh, when you have like your dust, the dust on your hand, just feel it. And as long as it feels smooth, you're good to go. You know, you don't want to overkill it. A lot of people, they sand so much, they sand it too much and they basically take off all the filler they put on, you know, and they get confused about the process. So I say the best way to learn to feel for a pro for to feel for high and low spots is to keep your hands like don't put gloves on, right? Keep your hands dusty and just close your eyes and feel over the dent. Okay. If you feel like there's a dip, you would feel it if you feel the you know, you'll just, you have to train your hands and feel, okay? And if it feels flat, then you know you're good, okay? Sometimes it could be deceiving, you know, by looking and feeling. So keep that in mind. Also, another thing is when doing body work, you might have to lay two, three, or even four coats of body filler to get it perfect, all right? Because sometimes the first coat is not enough. You know, you gotta lay a second coat. And then after the second coat, you discover a few other areas around the car that you got to do. And then you're, you might go back to your 
uh, spot that you thought that was done and just put in a little extra filler over a couple of uh, chips or little low spots, you know what I mean? Just take your time and go over it. Um, all we're doing here is just sanding the rest of the paint with 320 grit uh, so our primer could feather into it, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this, the whole panel with 320 grit here. Um, then we're gonna prime the whole card down with a 2K filler primer by Shopline. And, um, and basically let that dry good. And then we're gonna cut that with probably, we're, we're gonna cut that with a 280 grit to get it flat. And then we go with a 400 grit. So we had a new guy come in and he wanted to help out. He was priming some other car outside. And he was like, hey, I'll, I'll help you prime your car up. So we just mixed it. He used this, his same gun. He was using a 1.4 tip on a cheap gun. I told him, hey, let me, let's me let just use my Atom X20 with a 1.8. Uh, the primer would come out a lot faster. You know, he's like, no, nah, no, nah, let's just use my gun. So we use, this is why the primer is not coming out. I would have done it differently. Um, I would have put a 2.0, 1.8 to 2.0 tip. Uh, so the primer, the thick primer would spray in a lot more even. So, you know, the next projects, we'll go ahead and show you better priming footage, but I didn't get the best priming footage on this project. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.